Morris and welcome to Tanks Invest. Talk about investing, finance, and fresh booming for today's student terms only. The investment on top of today will be Ethereum Tech ETH. I know it's my second video that I'm posting again today. Uh, but, you know, knowing the fact that YouTube is, um, you know, relatively intimate part of my life now, um, you know, it's, uh, it becomes like a daily habit now. Um, and I really love engaging with the folks that are on the channel. You guys are slowly becoming my good friends and we are slowly building a, you know, a small family together. Um, so, yeah, I just want to be, you know, also want to take things off your guys' plate because I know reading a lot of news um, and try to triangulate a lot of different me metrics and the macro dynamics and all that stuff, it, it can be a little bit uh, overwhelming sometimes. And that's why I want to, you know, take the time to just read up on the news to see how it's trending uh, and just to keep you guys more of a live update, right? Which I already am doing so, you know, by myself individually. So might as well, um, you know, give that guy, to, you know, give you guys an update as well, just to see based on my observation, right? So uh, some recordings of 503 PM on the Eastern time, current trailing $3,098 up about 5.51% so far. And respect to the media affectation that I've been collecting for basically the last six hours so far, I was uh, biking the whole entire day basically. Ever since the morning's video, I went out with my friend and we just biked around the city. So we went all the way from Penn Station in, in New York City, which is basically Midtown, and we bike all the way to Harlem, and then we bike all the way to downtown at Battery Park uh, and the Soho as well. Um, and so I'm like super tired. <laughs> I'm super drained right now because we went straight up without pausing at all. We just got water for like two minutes, but then we kept going. So my legs are completely just burning right now. Uh, it's a it's a good burn because I'm still energetic. Uh, I I actually enjoy. Uh, biking and I love the weather in New York today. Uh, it's sunny enough but not too hot, uh, cool enough but not too cold at the same time. So I do enjoy this uh, this mixture of uh, weather. So, anyways, go back to the news. Uh, respect to Coin Telegraph came out about two hours ago. Respect to uh, they actually did a high level technical analysis. I uh, talk about okay, so now Ethereum price is over three thousand. What's the expectation going forward? It seems like with respect to the verbiage that I read so far, uh, comparable to our technical analysis so far, right? Uh, anything about three thousand one hundred fifty is you know is a relatively unknown area. You know we are struggling to get above. 3,150 uh, because technically anything above that the next level that we should technically leap up to would be 3,385 right which is uh you know still a long way to go right and it's gonna be it's gonna take a lot of momentum both on the positive media affectations but also a lot of whales to be pumping in for us to get there right so it seems like we're still pending on that trajectory going forward and then another one coming from Bazinga three hours ago uh, with respect to a verbiage coming from the co-founder Vitalik uh, talking about with respect to his transition now um, based on the energy usage that his, you know we historically endure with the 1.0 with the 2.0 there will be a subsequent 99% of energy usage cut from this upgrade. So obviously it's a great uh, value proposition upgrade. Uh, going forward, right? Another article also came out from Decrypt about five hours ago, um, and the verbiage is talking about with respect to EIP-1559 launch, uh, how much Ethereum has been burnt in the last two days so far, right? And they counted it as about like 30 million of Ethereum that's been burnt so far. Um, so obviously with the lack of supply, um, also with respect to the new supply that you know historically has been cultivated by miners knowing the fact that we shift to a new technology with staking now that obviously with that uh supply and demand imbalance uh obviously will search the price upward from here right so and then another one would be another regurgitation news from bazinga talking about ethereum cross 3100 with the 14 percent rally so far uh and they basically talk about another technical analysis you know explaining you know knowing the fact that we are at a relatively high risk territory at the moment that uh what's the like of further leaping up or, or are we going to see more of a crash coming right so they talk about um it seems i was struggling in between the levels right now we did break through 3000 which was a substantial um you know stamp of approval from you know all investors uh, knowing the fact that we break through this you know relatively large flat number 
Uh, however, the next level is 3,150, and then the next level is going to be even more substantial to be above 3,300. Uh, so that's a relatively um, large leap from here, right? So another bit, another news coming from Bazinga talking about uh, respect to Ethereum. Um, with respect to the deflationary dynamics that's in play, right? And what does that implication mean, right? Uh, another one coming from Cointelegraph, basically talking about something comparable to Bazinga, uh, knowing the fact that we just, you know, soared above 3,000 now, and there's a red zone uh, based on what they use as a verbiage. The red zone technically means that we are in a danger zone because we are, again, right, the chart that I showed you guys earlier, we are in between thrill and euphoric, right? And it seems like we are on a leaning side of the euphoric, right? So um, that means that um, the trigger of sell-off can be imminent. And that's what Corn Telegraph is basically explaining. Um, so anyway, so we do have like kind of a mixed bag of positive news, but with some technical analysis related news so i'm gonna go through a technical analysis again right we do have a collections of very different analyst depictions um but ultimately we are in the business of risk mitigation so uh we do have an opportunity to look at the chart together ourselves to see what is the truth behind it right um so stay tuned stick around let's make some money All right, so moving on to technical analysis for Ethereum ticket ETH, I'm recording of 5, 12 p.m. on Eastern Time. Current trade like $3,120, up about 6.27% so far. It seems like the momentum is still percolating, and we have had basically, um, I think, about 15 to 16 days of continuous surge days now. Um, and it's, you know, it seems like it's comparable to the search that we've experiencing so far, you know, you could see that uh, as of basically April 25th all the way to May 11th, you saw that little bump that we had. So it's kind of comparable to the bump that we had with, with respect to the SEC and the, obviously the regulatory constraint news coming from the Feds and also uh, with Gary Gensler. Uh, on his uh, verbiage around calling crypto as a fraud, as a scam, if you may, right? So it seems like we're leaping up right now. The next level of substantiveness is technically uh, 3,150 per our technical analysis that we've done so far, right? So you can see that we have a small candle here. And then the next level basically is a rejection of the 3,225. Right, but the next real level of substantiveness, which you saw that we consolidate a little bit, is really the three thousand three hundred seventy-eight or seventy-five, if you may. Right, so knowing the fact that if we are going to be repeating history, knowing the fact that we have had you know a lot of positive news that's been percolating so far, um, if history is going to be you know pseudo repeating itself we might look further leap up right and the next level that we might further consolidate would be again right the 3325 first and then the next level would be um again right the 3375 right per the technical analysis here right but you could see that with respect to the um the pump that we endured before um these were relatively both on the FOMO, but also with whales in combination, right? You could see that we FOMO'd in when we had that dip, right? And then you see a big whale pumped in, and then a lot of people came in. And at the same time, they there was another whale that came in again, and this was a combination of, I would say, 50-50 in whales and public investors at the same time. But as we squeeze in all the way to the top, we sold off, right? So, and the MACD explains it, right? You could see how stretched up we are. And I think, you know, if we're going to repeat the, the history again with more whale manipulations, because ultimately they have the highest market power uh, into controlling, right? We only have that minimal amount of dollars that we can, you know, change the supply and demand dynamics, right? They have the biggest power. And on top of the burning of Ethereum at the same time, um, we might. But again, right, people are watching for the levels to you know, potentially sell off, knowing the fact that we are in an unknown territory at the moment, right? Um, and technically, if we repeat itself, we should actually reach uh, another all-time high going forward, right? However, we need to oscillate first, right? We need to come down 
consolidate at a more optimal level and then continue to rally, right? Because again, we have been running very hot already, right? If the cross section was a little higher, right? Let's say the cross section was not 1750, that begin, right? If it started at 2000, we would totally leave up way above the 4383. But based on the fact that the, you know, the launch, the launching pad is lower in comparison to the launching pad that we had here before, right? It's, a, it's like basically three resistance levels below in launching pad, right? So I don't think we'll actually reach all the way. We actually need to correct a little bit more before the next rally up, right? Because the launching pad is relatively low in comparison to the historical launching pad that we had, right? Also, RSI is highly overbought. MACD is stretched up extremely high comparable to the level that we had before um, so we are definitely in the higher spectrum of the euphoric stage right now we're basically in the thrill stage right now so definitely watch out uh, and be cautious all right just to recap our numbers and technical analysis again right we are trying to leap up to be above the 3150 but it keeps it seems like we keep canceling out uh, because we just don't have enough drag or momentum to get there despite all the positive news that have been per percolating so far. Um, I do see some people taking profits, obviously for the right reasons, um, to each his own. But if we break the $3,000 level, the next level of resistance will go down to, would be 3000 first, obviously. We'll kind of hover from there, but 3000 is just a flat number, right? And we break that 3000 next level is 2750 If we get there, go below, if we go through the whole oscillations per the chart that I showed you guys before you know after the thrill after the euphoria and then come comes down uh, ideally the dollar cost average would be 2450 which is the level still I'm still waiting on ideally 2450 and ideally even more on the optimal level for me would be 2150 and I bought a significant amount um, around these level I, obviously we bought the dip at 1750 uh, a couple weeks ago but long term wise, if you want to buy it now at 3150 or just because you want to incur some risk without thinking about it and just kind of close the books or close your eyes afterwards and just shut off your app and just wait until five years. Why not? Why do why not just do that? You know, because like that, you don't want to go through the whole emotional roller coaster then, right? If you are truly a long term investor, most of the time, the least you do, the better you actually uh, perform later. Right, so ultimately, uh, 12 months price target at 9,800, 3.6 times your money if you buy the 2,750. For there, respect my technical analysis on your Ethereum ticket ETH. I am exhausted um, after the whole long day of biking and uh, reading and uh, studying and replying to emails. Uh, man, I'm just uh, non-stop working uh, today. So I'm relatively drained, so I'm actually going to be heading out for dinner i'm gonna take my dad out for dinner just to catch up we haven't really caught up in a while um so it should be a good one we haven't we're having like i think steak or something I, i'm not sure uh so looking forward to that uh but have a great rest of the weekend uh, i know some people are already sunday uh so have a great sunday for for some for some people and have the great rest of the saturday for the folks in the u.s and stay tuned for coming up take care bye